Welcome. Today's tutorial will talk about how to interact between a tire and velo grain. And in this interaction simulation, we will touch on the subject of the attraction weight and the clustering of the grain and the dynamic glue for the grain. This is uh, the second part of a previous tutorial where we talked about how to create the tire as you can see here where it will bounce on the ground and bend according to the stiffness of the bend you can find it there and uh, in this part we'll take it further step and uh, involve the grain in it where is it yes I went with low resolution so my machine can uh, keep up with the amount of uh, memory and uh, CPU I need to upgrade my PC but with your support uh, maybe one day I'll be able to do that which guide me to the next subject that you can support me through participating in my Patreon page and uh, in this page you will find all of the scene files, hip file and examples already included there you can download and play with it and uh, take it a step further and improve on it and experiment with it this uh, file also will be included there so your participation will uh, keep me uh, including and uploading more tutorials and hopefully will be able to uh, resuscitate my <laughs> dead PC that how many years now it's very very old I don't want to show it to you because it's uh, uh, unique like button because it's, uh, it's uh, abdomen is open and the fans are dead. I changed too many fans. Even the GPU is getting hot. Any with your support, one day it will be resuscitated or renewed with a new one. Also, I'm available on Gumroad, but mainly I'm I'm uploading most of my files to uh, Patreon. You can find me also in YouTube. My membership will be a nice add-on where I put exclusive tutorial over there. The wheel file I use it uh, from Sketchfab. Uh, credit goes to Mr. Tahir, all dirty tire. Very nice geometry that I used. So thank you very much for sharing. Let me stop it and go to the scene file. In the previous tutorial, we talked about this part and we stopped in the point deform, as you can see. So, what did I do here now? After the point deform, I wanted to have multiple wheels but I don't want to sim all of it so what I did I added time shift with minus 60 frame so it start behind and another time shift that start after 100 frame and I joined them all together and this is how they look the first one came here second one and third one one thing to note in the time shift I added the clamp to clamp to first or both because without that uh, they will disappear oh, sorry. and when they disappear uh, Vellum cannot pick them up and involve them in the dynamic constraint so it will just add constraint to the first one and the others they will not be included just they will be included in the collision that's why I add them all in the same place and I call this group wheel for the three wheels that will be included in the simulation. So this part is out. Now this part. And here, what I did, I drew a curve. This curve is according to the wheel's uh, line of movement. Okay. So this is my curve. This is where the wheels were moving. I clipped the tip of it transform it a little bit 
and added a resampling then I created a circle that I clipped from below and I did the sweep so it's closed and in the sweep I made sure the end cap is grid so this is the geometry that I remesh to make it look nicer so this is where the grain will be added hopefully my voice is clear I transform it to its proper position and I added the vellum constraint type is vellum configure grain here I created points from volume as you can see particle size I make the resolution 0.1 but look, you need to go lower than that to have a very nice grain size I added friction for the particles and dynamic friction also I activated attraction and uh, revulsion or I keep them at the default so you can play with them down below I call it points all these grains as points and this one as you remember wheels then I added a point prop because if you look here we have attraction weight dynamic friction friction mass and repulsion weight so I want to play with the attraction weight so I created a point prop in the point prop I added a, a noise that's being fit between because uh, the a, a noise is between point uh, minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 so I fit it between 0 0.1 and 0 0.85 that I then added a ramp for it so I can define how many particles will be distributed uh, according to the weight less weight or high weight when we go up here this is the curve exponential curve so most of the points will have low attraction weight and very little parts will have high attraction weight then I added band export attraction weight as a float if we can view it let's see in the CD so this is how it looks For that it will look like this so this is the distribution where it is white it will have higher attraction weight where it is getting black it will have lower attraction weight so they will be scattered discreetly no need for the color besides attraction weight I also added clustering the clustering uh, we did through the Voronoi noise and the idea is uh, I want to have each group of uh, points or island uh, between their neighbor to have some constraint glue constraint exactly so they keep them together or separate them to, uh, separate away from each other when they are being exposed to a force or a stretch stress this on top of the attraction weight that's being randomly distributed so same thing here I added the Voronoi noise and the seed I added as a class here so if we view the classes class it's not showing anyway I will show it when we reach here so after that I added the cluster points and I'm defining the threshold attribute of class so we have not here, here so as you can see we have the islands according to the class of the Voronoi noise that we created so these two parameters we have now the first constraint the vellum glue this one to make sure it's on the class so let's highlight it give it a second see between each point so I'm running on points for points so like the, the constraint will be created and this is the maximum search the furthest uh, search preference is being chosen not the nearest and the stretch stiffness I kept it at 10 only 
and I didn't add the breaking so that's the first part now to the vellum solver itself here you need to increase the sub step because with the grain you need at least five sub steps forces I add a little bit of wind drag and velocity damping so they will rest quickly sort of quickly this is the arm advance in the grain collision I activated the repulsion and the attraction weight same as we activated them in the top here but I keep the value at one so they will multiply by one so I can control it stitch to one let's activate this one now let's go inside the solver in the solver here first thing first I added this vellum constraint it's attached to geometry it's being updated and evaluated in each frame and I want the points to be attached to this wheel so the group type is points because we are on points I didn't play with the mass and the target point I am refer uh, referencing the wheel outside this one and you, as you know we have the group called wheel so after that the maximum distance for, is for the closest point is point 2 I kept it as the same as the particle size multiply by 2 because it's the diameter stiffness I kept it at 10,000 and the breaking I make it at 10 so with uh, enough stretch stress that's beyond 10 they will escape from the wheel here I just uh, create one wheel just for demonstration purpose so we can see the constraint in action let's play it so as you can see there is no attached constraint yet because the distance is 0.2 we didn't reach this 0.2 that's why I'm telling you we need to increase the sub step but I didn't increase here because as you can see my machine is dying just to simulate this small part now we will notice now some changes here See, now we start to have the attach constraint being updated in each frame you can even update it in each frame sub, sub, uh, sub frame or sub step now it's pulling them up see the blue lines and the white line these are the constraints and when they reach a threshold above 10 they will be removed let's see it again coming close and it's touching the grains like uh, National Geography documentary narration look at this nature in action Uh, that's the idea of this one the glue here because the particles uh, the grains are changing their position and I want them to be uh, sticky so in each frame we're evaluating the glue between points and according to the cluster also we are adding stretch you can also activate without the cluster and see what will happen like uh, these points not only they will uh, attach to each other from different island also they will attach to each other from the same island so in the world experiment with it you can remove it cancel I keep it at 115 is the threshold for breaking on stretch stress 
I give it above speed limit maximum of 50 so they don't scatter and fly away and after that we cache it and this is the outcome like wave here very nice that's a cool frame it's right here and after that I merge them all together this is the other side and then I use OpenGL to render uh, the preview out and this is the result it's not Garma or Mantle render just uh, OpenGL so at the end hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, the files will be uploaded to my Patreon where I hope to, to see you over there joining and supporting and have a nice day. Thank you very much.